Hello and welcome to our MD Live first appointment video. Let's start by logging into MD Live. Before we set up our first appointment, I recommend filling out your health profile. Let's click on the health profile link here. The health profile is similar to a new patient questionnaire you would fill out on a first visit with a new doctor. It consists of three parts, my health history, my lifestyle, and my family history. With your health history, if you select yes to any of these questions, it will prompt you to add additional information. They will ask for your current height and weight. You do not need to add any vitals now. Go through and complete the lifestyle and family history questions as well. Once you have completed this, our next step is adding a pharmacy. Let's click the add a pharmacy icon here. There are a variety of options for selecting your preferred pharmacy. I like zip codes, so I will enter our zip code here and search for the pharmacies closest to me. Today I'm going to select the Costco Pharmacy. Now I need to confirm that this is the pharmacy I want, and we have selected our preferred pharmacy. It all looks good here, so let's go back to the home page and we can set up an appointment. Click on your account button. As you can see here, there are two options for setting up an appointment. See the first available and schedule an appointment. Be aware that the only way to see a specific provider is scheduling an appointment. Let's click on see first available for now. Before you can see a provider, you will need to select the reason for your visit. Please note that for any medication refills, you will need to have your pill bottle handy as they will ask for a picture of it during your visit. For today, I'll select ear pain as a reason for our visit. Now, how long has it been bothering me? As well as how bothersome has it been? There are a few more questions here that they will ask. We won't go through all of them now, but I wanted you to note that they will review your health profile as well as pharmacy selection so if you've completed that, it will make this process go much quicker for you. That concludes today's video. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions and have a healthy day.